Greetings, YouTubers. I'm sure you've learned of the recent death of actress Natasha Richardson, who was injured while skiing in the healthcare mecca of Canada. Here's what you might not know. Questions are arising over whether a medical helicopter might have been able to save actress Natasha, Natasha Richardson. The province of Quebec lacks a medical helicopter system. You get that? The province of Quebec lacks a medical helicopter system, common in the U.S. and other parts of Canada to airlift stricken patients to major trauma centers. Montreal's top head trauma doctor said Friday that may have played a role in Richardson's death. Richardson, 45, died Wednesday at Lenox Hill Hospital in New York after falling Monday on a ski slope at the Mont Tremblant Resort in Quebec. It's impossible for me to comment specifically about her case, but what I could say is driving to Mont Tremblant from Montreal is a two and a half hour trip and the closest trauma center is in the city. Our system isn't set up for traumas and doesn't match what's available in other Canadian cities, let alone in the States, said Tarek Rezek, director of trauma services for the McGill University Health Center, which represents six of Montreal's hospitals. While Richardson's initial refusal of medical treatment cost her two hours, she also had to be driven to two hospitals. She didn't arrive at a specialized hospital in Montreal until after until about four hours after the second 911 call from her hotel room at the resort, according to a timeline published by Canada's The Globe and Mail newspaper. Okay, this is just one facet of Canada's train wreck of a single-payer healthcare system. As government spending on healthcare has skyrocketed, so have waiting times. We're seeing some of these effects here in the USA as mandates have skyrocketed in the past few decades, and the government is picking up an increasing amount of the tab. You got these mandates where they mandate uh, sometimes hair pieces, uh, chiropractor, in vitro fertilization, drug counseling, marriage counseling, everything that moves. Maryland and New Jersey are two of the worst. Uh, so if you're going to offer health care there, you have to offer these gold plated health care plans. And it does give younger workers a shaft. And that's why premiums are so high. Lack of competition, such as allowing people in Iowa to purchase health insurance policies that originate in Kentucky is also a major problem. Over the past few decades, our healthcare system has more resembled Canada's and that's not a good thing. If we continue down that road, we'll be in serious trouble. Retired and need a hip replacement? Grab a Snickers. It's going to be a while. And again, I'll have all the relevant links on the right side.